Hi, my name is Bill, and this is how I do it. Today I'm working on a dumpster dive find. It's a Ryobi weed eater, and I'm gonna revive it back to its weed eating glory. All right, today I got a, a Ryobi weed eater, two cycles, 25 horsepower weed eater that I found in a dumpster. And uh, today I'm gonna, well, I already diagnosed it. Uh, what it's doing is leaking carb, it's leaking gas um, from the carburetor, which in the case is usually has a, a, a stopped up passage or a, one of the seals is bad on the carburetor. Um, either way, it's going to need a carburetor rebuild kit. And honestly, I'm going to be honest with you, when I'm dealing with carburetors and small engines, um, Amazon and eBay, they got these carburetor kits available that has everything that you need to do to replace the carburetor, including the fuel filters, the lines, the spark plugs, the gaskets that you need. And honestly, I just don't see a need in just buying a carburetor rebuild kit and doing that whole process it's not really it's kind of tedious to do it but it's really unnecessary in my opinion just buy one of the carburetors off amazon and replace it um unless you just have the the carburetor kit available i mean yeah save a couple of bucks but the carburetor kits cost about ten dollars in the whole i mean the um, carburetor kits cost about 15 to 17 dollars and the carburetor rebuild kits cost about 10 to 11 dollars so i mean you know, you're saving maybe three or four bucks. You're doing rebuilding the carburetor. So, uh, what I'm going to do today, I'm just, I already got the um, carburetor rebuild kit. I mean, carburetor um, kit itself. I already got it here, fresh off of uh, Amazon. And uh, I've had this for a, a good while. So, what I'm going to do today is just replace the carburetor. I'm going to replace these fuel lines under here and um, revive this carburetor. So let's get into it. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lay out the kit and then show what's in the kit. You got your fuel lines. It's gonna be enough for a return line and the main fuel line. Uh, we have the carburetor here. It's just like the original that's on here. Standard carburetor, new bulb on here. Uh, you got your fuel filter. Come with a gasket as well. Gasket there. Uh, it also comes with a spark plug. Spark plug. And it comes with a couple of fuel bowls. Yeah, that you can have later. Those fuel bulbs uh, tend to get hard after a while and they'll crack and leak. So that's why I usually put a couple of those in there. So um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off by uh, I'm taking off the old one and then I gotta cut the fuel lines to the perfect length and I'm gonna reinstall this whole kit. So right now I gotta take off the old one and that's what I'm about to do now. First thing we gotta do is take off this cover. Just press the tab in and it comes off. I wish it would've came with another filter, but it didn't. So I'm just gonna have to clean this filter up. So I'm just gonna put this to the side. And it's held on by two T20 bolts. And what I'm gonna do is I uh, remove the throttle cable. So it's a little bit easier to get to. Get out of the way. And it also has these, uh, the fuel lines on here. And just remember which lines are which. This is the main fuel line. This is the return line. And I use my needle nose to get those off. 
See, they may be a little hard. I may have to cut them, but I'm not trying to do all that. It don't really matter since I'm replacing them. Just like that, the old carburetor's out. A piece of that gasket, make sure the gasket, all the gasket comes off. Honestly, these lines don't look that bad and they're not really that hard. I'm gonna keep those lines on there because they don't look bad. And I have some other videos where I cut the, um, show you how to do the lines and uh, replace the fuel filter. Cause those really don't they don't need it and you like yeah i could do it just for the sake of the video but they don't really need to be changed so i'm not going to change them if i do have a problem with it i know what the issue is so now what i'm going to do is replace the carburetor i need uh need my gasket came with a gasket so it's pretty straightforward um only thing i gotta do is just line it up the right way just like so you got the gasket right there i'm just gonna put these fuel lines back on here because they weren't bad at all so So now I got those on there. Let's put these, um, I better put the throttle back on here first. The throttle linkage. Got that back on there. And my gasket. Make sure the gasket's lined up the right way. All right, ran, I ran into a little issue. One of these ports, um, the gasket is covering it up. So what I'm gonna have to do is just um, extend this hole here. And um, so that won't, they'll be um, not closed. It's not that hard to do. I'm just using some uh, cutters to do it. All right, it'll work right there. All right. Now I gotta do, what I gotta do is line this back up like it was, boom, boom. Bolts here. Dun, dun. Put this other bolt through here. everything straight on that and all I gotta do now is just line this up like 
lined it up. It's lined up. Push it back on. Remember, all this is plastic, so you don't have to tighten this up too much. Throttle or squeeze, make sure it's all lined up. It's all right. Make sure the choke is working fine. All that's working fine. All right. And now what we gotta do now is put our cover back on. Put our cover back on. It has two holes at the bottom here that's lined up that you gotta line up. clicks on and uh now we're ready to try it out i'm gonna um, put some gas in here and uh we're gonna try it out in my um spark plug um i know i got spark because i already checked for spark uh using my um spark uh spark checker so i know that's working all right now i'm about to go outside and uh uh, make sure it uh, cranks up, and I may uh, cut with it a little bit today. All right, I'm outside. I'm about to see what this uh, Ryobi weed eater do after I just put the carburetor on it. So the first thing I got to do is use put some uh, gas in it, or well, two cycle fuel, 50 to one ratio on this particular weed eater. And uh, what I'm gonna do is fill it up, prime it, and see what we got. Mm. I'm gonna fill it all the way up. All right, there it goes into the bulb. Give it a couple of little primes. The directions right here on the front. I'm supposed to put it 10 times, set it to full choke, squeeze, hold it, pull the starter. If it tries to crank, put it on half choke, then let it run for a little bit. Wait 10 seconds, then you set it all the way to run. Yeah, simple instructions. All of them pretty much the same. So I'm putting it on full choke right now. Oh yeah, first of all, I'm gonna put this attachment on here. It's my brush cutter attachment. I have another weed eater just like this one. And it has these attachment tools to it, which are pretty neat. All you gotta do is just line it up, put it on here. Hold on. There it goes. All right, now it's on there. Tighten that up. All right, now we're ready. Now we're ready to crank it up. All right, now set it to half choke.
Not too bad for a dumpster weed eater, if I do say so myself. Um, as you can tell, the carburetor install was a success. Um, just did a little brush cutting with it. I mean, nothing too major, just something light. Um, I can tell that the carburetor may need a few adjustments, but I'll take care of that later. But right now, man, I'm just happy. I'm excited that this weed eater was brought back to life. And it's on to the next. Uh, this is how I do it. Let's hear it. Say thank you for subscribing. Thank you, Scott. Okay, let's hear it.